The Cornell Cooperative Extension Agriculture Stewardship Program had its first annual open house and farm tour, which celebrated what the program has been doing over the past six years. Becky Weissman talks about the day. Um, the first part of today is going to be the open house, and what we've done is really set up a uh, exhibit in the Cornell Cooperative Extension um, conference room to showcase different pieces and uh, units of the Agriculture Stewardship Program. Part of the exhibit will be our vegetable uh, projects that we're doing on farms. We have two staff that will be showing um, the different pieces of, uh, of the work that goes into suction lysimeters that measure leachate in potato fields and corn fields. And then we also have another exhibit with our greenhouse and floriculture and nursery uh, projects that we do. The other part of the day um, that I really want to showcase also is how closely we work with Soil and Water Conservation District and the USDA Natural Resources Conservation Service. We hired the North Fork Trolley, which was just terrific. Um, they picked us up at Cornell Cooperative Extension, all 36 of us, loaded us on the trolley and took us to some area uh, farms that uh, the that Agriculture Stewardship Program are working on. Um, and the reason we chose the trolley because it was just a great way to go. I mean, it doesn't move real fast and you can look out the windows and see all of the uh, farms around us and it also was a way for it had a PA system so we could, you know, talk about what we were doing and where we were going and the farms that we were passing along the road and it was wonderful because we're all can be on the same uh, in the same vehicle at the same time experiencing the day together and not moving about in separate vehicles. Yeah. Any questions on tree fruit, orchards or anything? Stink bug questions? <laughs> We went right into the farms, um, right onto the dirt roads, uh, separating fields. We picked Windy Acres um, as the first farm that we were going to. Tom Fumpfgeld has been a great cooperator with the Ag Stewardship Program. And uh, some of the projects that we work with him on, we could show each of them. And he has several going on there. Um, one of the projects that we showed was the um, pheromone disruption trial that we're doing in orchards. This is one of our participating orchards. Um, here we are growing apples on this side. On the other side of the road we're going to have our peaches. And each different area is going to have different pests in it. So what we're trying to do is monitor for the grower give him the numbers that we're finding, so it's gonna make him use his applications better. I mean, the whole goal of the pheromone disruption trial is so that farmers do not have to spray indiscriminately. They can spray, spray exactly when the pest is found, when it's at its highest peak, and it can do the best, um, you know, to eliminate the problem. So from there, we went to um, Tom's Cornfield, where he is in a demonstration project with us on doing side-by-side -side, uh, control release uh, nitrogen fertilizer trial uh, with the conventional farmer's uh, application of fertilizer. So it's really looking at uh, the costs and the benefits of using a very new product, control release fertilizers in corn production, sweet corn production. Another um, farm that we went to was the Alan Zilnicki farm and Alan is in a potato trial with us uh, doing demonstration project again showing the costs and the benefits of using control release fertilizer in uh, potato production and what made the Zilnicki farm uh, different than other farms that we went to. Um, Alan is actually the first farmer that has agreed to letting us use suction lysimeters in his potato field to measure the leachate that comes off of, uh, into the soil after rains or even just after a, a, normal, uh, a normal weather pattern. For them to have the trust to allow us to come here, take measurements of leachate under their crops, is, is like a great success for us, the county as a whole. Um, was it helpful to have the stewardship staff come and calibrate your equipment with you and have an extra pair of hands around? Oh yeah, oh yeah, because uh, it's, it's exact. Until pharmacy proof that it works, and uh, if it costs just say $50 or $100 an acre, 
you only raise one acre, it don't sound like much. But if you're raising 200, 500 acres, it's a lot of money. Another place we went uh, was Marty Cider's uh, potato chip factory. And we chose that because we wanted to showcase how um, there's a full circle, so to speak, of looking at potatoes as they're just coming into production. They're, you know, haven't even bloomed yet. And then going then to the potato chip factory where we're able to experience what happens when a grower, um, Martin Cider, uses his own potatoes to make the chips. My husband's a third generation potato farmer. We started chips about seven years ago. We've just introduced two new flavors. And we're stubborn enough and have the work attitude that uh, we're going to persist. And, uh, yeah. and then we also got to go to um, uh, Half Hollow Nursery, where Charlie Shear uh, was able to show us uh, a lot of the projects that we do there. We have many demonstration projects happening at this particular nursery. And then, of course, we ended up here. And this is like just a remarkable place at uh, Pominock Vineyard. And uh, we were really treated to a great tour of the Pominock uh, Vineyard uh, by Kareem Masood, winemaker here. We got to taste the wine and again come full circle, uh, experiencing what it's like to grow the grapes here, the environment, how environmentally aware and uh, sustainable these grapes are grown and then experience the tasting, and that's, that's not so bad either, so that was great. Oh, I, th I think it was a very good tour because it gave a nice spectrum of what's going on with the stewardship program, covered all major aspects, uh, allowed people to ask questions and uh, to get information about what we're doing. I think this has been one of our more successful programs, and uh, having served as the co-chair of the original committee before this was set up, I'm quite pleased. The tour was extremely interesting. It's nice to see the uh, practices that are being implemented that are going to protect uh, the estuary and protect groundwater. Uh, well, I'm Tom Uratori. I'm the legislator from the 4th Legislative District. And we took a tour of uh, some of the farmlands here in Suffolk County. And I was, like, really impressed of what's going on. I didn't realize how much uh, agriculture is here on Long Island and what's being done, all the new technology. And I was impressed the way they control the insect population and and various things that happen to uh, to the agriculture here on the island. Really, really impressed. I, I think it's great what the agricultural operators are doing on eastern Long Island, uh, particularly to reduce the nitrogen load and looking at some of the most significant crops, uh, the, the corn uh, and the potatoes, uh, the nitrogen from the, from, from those, um, from the uh, production of those crops can, can really impact our estuary. So it's really important to see what can be done uh, to reduce that load uh, while still maintaining a viable agricultural operation. Well, Cornell has been a, a leader, uh, not just in academics, but uh, through Cornell Cooperative Extension has been a, a leader for us here on, on the east end of Long Island in the areas of agriculture and uh, also with regard to our marine environment. So, you know, this research is critical for us uh, to be on the cutting edge, and that's the, the great advantage of having a tremendous research institution like Cornell behind you on something like this, is that we get to be on the cutting edge of, uh, of the research that's leading to more environmentally sensitive agricultural practices. Just experiencing uh, being in the field and it was, you know, how hot it is and, and to get to the sensations and the feelings of the smell of the earth and the smell of the, the fruit around us or the, the vineyards or the potato fields, the smells, experience every piece of what it's like to be uh, a, a part of agriculture. And so I, I think it was successful. I enjoyed myself and from what I've heard from everyone that, you know, it went quickly, we had a lot of fun, it was hot, but uh, it was a great day.